today I'm going to do a video that is pretty random, but I'm just going to throw it out there. Today I'm going to do a fav uh, a video all about my favorite nudes. And no, we're not talking like Kim K nudes. We're talking nude lipsticks. Although Kim K nudes are great. She has an awesome body. Anyways, that's for a different video. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite cruelty-free nude lipsticks. I have done this video before on my channel, but it was before I went cruelty-free. I'm like 99% sure it was either that or right after I had just gone cruelty-free. Anyways, either way, I will link it down below because I'm sure there are some cruelty-free options in there. But today I have a couple different categories. I have lip liners because I think lip, lip liners are important for nude lipsticks. I have lip glosses, I have liquid lips, and I have traditional lipsticks. These are all, again, cruelty-free and some of my favorite new lipsticks ever. It was so funny because, so I filmed this look, and yes, there is a tutorial for this look. Um, I filmed this look and I was just kind of like, I'm not ready to take this off. I want to film. So I was just kind of like, all right, let's do a favorite new lipsticks video because I haven't done that in a really long time. And I literally had to go into both of my purses to find almost all of these because they seriously live in my purse. My, I always joke with my assistant manager at work. I'm like, here's here's my bag with 90% of my lipsticks that I own. It's true. Anyways, if you want to see more of these like individual kind of collection favorites, like more specific, I know I used to do my like collection favorites and that kind of just died off. If you want me to bring it back and do more specific categories, give this video a thumbs up so I know to continue to do them. Please subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into my favorite nudes. Well, let's start with, let's start with lip liner. I only have a couple to talk about. Actually, no. Yeah. Yep. No. Yeah, we're going to start with lip liner. We're going to go lip liner, lip gloss, traditional lipstick, liquid lipstick. Let's go in that order. So I only have a couple lip liners to talk about. These have been my staples for nude lipsticks, especially for nudes. I think it's important. I don't, I hardly ever line my lips and pretty much the only time I do line my lips is for a nude, like what I am doing right now. It just gives your lips a lot of definition and it can kind of clean up a nude lipstick because a nude lipstick, especially if you go very, very light, can look very messy and like you just bit into a nude colored powdered donut. It can look real bad real quick. So I think lining your lips before applying a nude lipstick, especially if it's a more fair nude lipstick, can just can just help you to just give that like, oh, mmm, pouty sort of look. You know what I mean? So I have a couple of nude lip liners to talk about. The first is the one that I'm wearing, and this has been the one that has been a staple on my channel for so long, and this is the Jorna, Jor, Jorna, Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rock and Rose. I love it love this lip liner. Again, it's the one I am wearing right now. It's a beautiful rosy brown nude. It is stunning. It's like the perfect mauve nude color. These are like $3. They're so affordable. They're I don't like my lip liners too creamy because I feel like it defeats the purpose of a lip liner. Like when a lip liner feels like a lipstick, I'm like, why don't I just apply a lipstick? You know what I mean? So these ones have a nice amount of tug to them without them being too hard. You know what I mean? So I love Jordana Easy Liner for Lips, Rock and Rose. It's a staple in my collection. Next one is a relatively new one to me, but I've been reaching for it a lot. This one's a little bit more cool toned, and this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm. I love the, like, NYX like lip pencils. I have so many of them in my collection, but this one is the one I've been reaching for the most lately, so this is the one I want to include. This is again in the shade Sandstorm, and this one is a little bit more cool tone of a brown, if you can even tell. It's basically, they came out with these to match their liquid lipsticks, and so I really like this one again for more cool tone nude lips, and these ones do, they're a little bit more dry than the Jordana ones, so Jordana ones are a little bit creamier, but still not too creamy. And yeah, it's just a great color. And then this one is more on the pink spectrum, which I don't do super, super often, but I love this lip liner so much. This is the Steely Style Line and Seal Semi-Permanent Lip Liner. Look how much I've used it. Like, it is almost all the writing is gone. And this is in the shade Hamptons. Again, this one is kind of like a rosy pink. Oh my gosh, those ones all almost, almost look the same. But, I mean, to a makeup addict, no two nudes are the same, right? Um, so, this one is the most pink. I would say, like, Rock and Rose is like a combination of these two. This one is the most pink, beautiful, again, for more pinky tone nudes. 
foods and this one is definitely the creamiest formula but I still enjoy this formula because it still has a little bit of stick to it um, this one I love to just apply all over my lips and then pop on a gloss and it's just so pretty so girly and feminine I love it and again it's pretty affordable too okay let's go into lip glosses now one of my favorite things to do especially with nude gloss I feel like you have to wear a lip liner unless you're just like kind of put it in the center and just kind of like me 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 like mush it out that sounds disgusting anyways I feel like you know to get a full nude lip look a lip liner and a opaque lip gloss which is what I'm doing right now is like one of my favorites ever so lip gloss is one of those things where I don't always wear a lip gloss but when I do it's a nude lip gloss <laughs> and I I'm obsessed so um let's just get into let's organize it most expensive to least expensive is that fun let's do that so let's do most expensive I can't remember exactly which one but these are my two more expensive nude glosses the first is the buxom lip gloss in white Russian this is one of those Kathleen lights made me buy it lip glosses which actually three of these are Kathleen lights made me buy it lip glosses um this one is so so stunning and buxom like lip glosses this is this is like they're like full-on lip cream and so it does have like a little bit of like a tingly plumping effect but really it just feels kind of minty on your lips it doesn't like sting or, or anything it, it like is a incredibly mild burn and like I don't even want to use the word burn because that sounds more harsh than it actually feels when you first apply it and then it's just more of like a cooling minty feeling it has a little bit of color to it, but it's that perfect kind of just peachy kind of gloss. Again, not too much color to it, but enough to where it just kind of like, it's like a tinted, it's like a BB cream for your lips. I love wearing these. They last all day. Like if you want your lips to look wet all day, these are absolutely fantastic. I love this lip gloss. It's not sticky. None of, none of these lip glosses are sticky. It just, it lasts all day and that's impressive for a lip gloss. And even like the minty feeling lasts until you take it off. It's so nice and refreshing. The next is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now and this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss I believe is what it's called but why don't they put that on the packaging? Come on Bare Minerals. Um, this is in the shade Groovy. So this is one of those things where I heard Jaclyn Hill talk about it and I was like mm, okay I need it because pretty much anything nude lip color that Jaclyn Hill wears I need it because her nudes are always perfect and then I heard Kathleen lights talk about it because she heard Jacqueline Hill talk about it and I bought it and I'm obsessed this one is definitely the most opaque lip gloss that I'm going to talk about so if you like an opaque gloss this is your girl this one is so stunning and you can see like that almost like that first swipe kind of almost looked like a liquid lipstick it is very very opaque and as you can see it on my lips it's just a nice pinky nude <laughs> that's how I'm gonna describe all these nudes I'm sorry it's gonna happen but again this one is more opaque again lasts a really really long time it's a little bit thicker of a formula but it's still like it's still not sticky at all um, it lasts a really really long time again and yeah this one is just the most opaque pretty long lasting and it stays looking very very wet and shiny for a really long time okay my last Kathleen lights made me buy it is her collab with ColourPop and this is the ultra ultra glossy lip in the shade moon child this one is a relatively new one to me but I love this one for more warmer looks because I do usually prefer if I'm going for a lip gloss I usually prefer a little bit more on the cool tone as opposed to the warm tone um, but this one when I want a warmer toned lip gloss is my gal it is so pretty again it's more of a oh we're gonna get into some arm hair that's fine Ooh, this is almost more opaque than the other one I may have lied to you guys this one is probably more opaque this one again as you can see is just warmer it has tiny tiny little gold glitters that you can't really tell when it's on your lips it just looks extra glossy they're so nice this is my first ultra glossy lip that I've tried from ColourPop and I definitely want to try more so comment down below and tell me your favorite like shades of them um, but again just for a nice nude warmer like gloss I love this and the ultra glossy lips are super affordable these next two Two are ones I have talked about 300 million times on my channel. The first is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I also love the shade, what's it called? Oh, I also love the shade Creme Brulee. These are just classic. I don't even think I can swatch this because it's almost like, it's almost gone. Fortune Cookie is lighter, more pale. It's a little pinky, but, um, but Creme Brulee is like 
more pink, if that makes sense. Can you see those two next to each other? We're getting to arm hair territory. This is gonna be fun. Both of these are just nice, like, kind of on the medium scale when it comes to opacity really comfortable on the lips really just like easy to chuck on without having to think about it great affordable lip glosses then the last one one of my favorite lip glosses like ever like this is definitely top three is the steely style go-to gloss in uncovered this one is so unique because it is like iridescent pink almost it has again a like nude kind of kind of warm base to it it's more on the like the peachy side as you can see but this has like like almost like little iridescent glitters to it to where when it catches the light it makes your lips look so dang juicy I'm obsessed and that and the glitters are so tiny you can hardly even tell you can tell more in the bottle but they're just this like iridescent pink and it just catches the light so beautifully I love this lip gloss obviously it was in my steely style favorites collection it's one of my favorite lip glosses of all time okay so gloss is done I'm gonna I'm gonna take off these swatches okay next I don't have a ton of like traditional lipsticks to talk about because I usually prefer either a liquid lip or if I want something like glossy or satin I'll just go with a gloss, but I do have a few here that I want to talk about. The first is actually not this one. This one is a stand-in because I had to throw mine away because mine rolled off my counter and into my cat's litter box. And it is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Skimpy. This is the one in She Bad, so I just grabbed a different nude one so that I would remember to talk about this one. So I'm not going to swatch it because it's not the right one. But if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, I feel like you have seen me use that. It's very fair, very glossy, and very opaque. I mean, it's a satin formula, but it's, it's pretty dang glossy. Super opaque little bit on the warm side it is gorgeous and again just one of those easy lipsticks to just kind of chuck on i love it next i have three of the nyx matte lippy sticks i feel like these nyx like the matte lippies are kind of hit and miss but most of them are a hit so i have an escalating kind of like scale of colors here the first one is my absolute favorite this travels with me no matter where i go this is constantly in my purse and this is in the shade sable i talked about this recently in a favorites video it's my perfect nude lipstick it's nice and neutral not too warm not too cool it's perfect i can't describe it any other way than it is perfect for me i love this lipstick it's so good the next one is a little bit more on the pink Wait, yeah. this one is a little bit more on the pink scale and i don't wear this one a ton but i wanted to include this in case you like more of a pink nude because i know you know of course depending on like your undertones and stuff different colored of different colored nudes are flattering on different people so i wanted to include this one this one is in the shade spirit and i'll show you it next to each other but again as you can see spirit is more pink more rosy and sable is more of a true kind of brown beigey type of nude so i like both of these depending on what i'm kind of going for this one again is the one i prefer but i wanted to show you all this one in case you like a more pink nude and the next one is a deeper nude on me but of course depending on your skin tone it could be your perfect nude and this is in the shade euro trash this one is so stunning i love it it's like it reminds me of Kat Von D's Lolita honestly it's so pretty it's just that kind of like burnt brownie rose color like mauvey rosy brown it's so pretty I love this when I want like something kind of 90s a little bit of a bold lip but not like a full-on like red or dark lip it's just it's a really really easy bold er depending on your skin tone lip to rock and I love it and I keep getting glitter in my crease and this is just not not happening finally we are down to liquid lipsticks now and I honestly don't have a ton to talk about I am still on the hunt for the perfect nude liquid lipstick ever since I dropped dropped Jeffree Star and, and these ones have definitely been favorites so the first one I want to talk about is Kat Von D's bow and arrow this one is probably one of the most staple liquid lipsticks in my collection. I love this. Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks are very hit and miss, and I do find that some of them are very streaky. This one is not one of them. Again, it's that perfect 
beige nude. This one is a little bit more cool toned, super opaque, really comfortable. I can wear this all day without having to like fuss about it. It's just a gorgeous brown nude. Then I have the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. This is an awesome I feel like we'll see how close they are but I feel like it's kind of a dupe um, this one is again they don't dry down totally they still say they're kind of like ultra satin lips from Colourpop if you haven't tried the liquid suede's super super comfortable and yeah these ones are very very similar again a little bit more cool toned a little bit deeper than bow and arrow but not by much and it's just again an easy beige nude lip to just chuck on the next one is pretty much the exact same thing but I'm gonna talk about it anyways this one is the Japanesque Kumadori matte liquid lipstick and this is in the shade nude Japanesque is such like a strange brand and like randomly a PR box like showed up at my house and I hadn't even talked to them which is very concerning and I'm just like how how and I reached out to them and I was like hey thank you can I have a contact to like talk to and they just they didn't respond so kind of weird and I don't even know where you can buy Japanesque like makeup besides Ulta's website anyways I'm on a tangent now but this liquid lipstick is fantastic this is in the shade nude and as you can see it's pretty much the same as the two before it um yeah it's pretty much the exact same as the two before it. I like it a lot though because it's very matte. The formula is actually really, really similar to Kat Von D's bow and arrow. Um, and they're pretty much the same color. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. I do like it though. The formula is nice. Anyways, the last one that I have to talk about is more of a pinky nude. And this one is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Alice. These ones are a little drying little drying if you have very very textured lips you might not like these I will preface this by saying that but they aren't like suck the life out of your lips like crazy drying so I mean they're kind of they're kind of an in between it's not like my favorite formula but it's not a bad formula especially for the price and this color is stunning it is so so pretty it's like a cool tone pink mauve nude this one is just look at that color isn't that the prettiest nude you've ever seen I'm obsessed beautiful beautiful pinky nude the formula is a, it could be a little bit less drying but it's not anything super terrible it's not like Colourpop ultra matte lips um and it's really affordable so there you go. All right, everybody. So that is it for my favorite cruelty-free nude lipsticks. Comment down below and tell me your favorite holy grail nude lipstick that I need in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!